uh, greetings and welcome to yet another Cybergenica internet marketing video. Today using a neat feature that allows me and possibly you to monitor website traffic in real time, I will show you how popular my blog is and discuss monetizing opportunities. Over the next five minutes, I will let you sneak a peek at the traffic I get on my blog in real time. Now here's the traffic monitoring interface I use. It's powered by PHP and Ajax. Don't worry if that doesn't mean anything to you. I didn't write the traffic monitoring application. I only know what technologies it's based on. I recorded about an hour's worth of screen video for you to look at. Now on the right side of the screen, you can see the date and time. Today is Wednesday, January 20th, and it's real early in the morning. You know what they say, the early bird gets the worm. I'm often up way before Mr. Sunshine shows up. I like to think getting up early uh, plays a role in my success. Uh, you can also see my name, Daniel St. Pierre, because I'm logged in as the administrator. Down below, you can see the IP numbers of the visitors to my site. Over the next 60 minutes, which you won't see in real time because YouTube only allows for a maximum 10 minute video, you'll watch an accelerated video of the abundant traffic on my blog at www.cybergenica.com forward slash blog. Now how do I get so much traffic at 5 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> well my blog is known internationally. It ranks highly on Google, Yahoo and MSN according to a great number of internet marketing topics and lots of personal posts that draw traffic organically. More importantly my blog is RIPE. That's right. It's an acronym R-I-P-E. It's regular, informative, profitable, and entertaining. It's ripe. I wrote a white paper about ripe blogging, and while it's still free, you should download and read it. You'll find it on the Cybergenica website at www.cybergenica.com. Now, it's no secret the amount of success you will experience online is in direct proportion to the amount of traffic you generate. Of course, the quality of the traffic is also important. Today at first glance I hosted about 47 unique visitors during this one hour session. Extrapolating the number of unique IPs I captured during this session tells me that uh, today I should be receiving between 1,000 to 2,000 unique visitors. Now while that may not sound like a lot, that's more than 99.99% of all websites on the internet. Over 1,000 visitors per day translate into over one quarter million visitors per year. Can you imagine what happens when this traffic is monetized? And this traffic you're seeing on my website, now that's only one site. I own 125. Do the math. Do you need over 100 websites to make money online? Not at all. You need one site that makes you money doing something you love. In the rare event you have more than one passion or you want to make more money online, then get more than one website. The formula is simple. Start a blog or a site, work hard, and make money then repeat. When you have one site making you say a thousand dollars a year, now that's not much but then again such a website only needs about two to three hours of work each week. When you have a profitable site there's nothing stopping you from duplicating this site. One of my websites is biblicalcooking.com. It makes money on autopilot. I sell Amazon books and I earn affiliate revenue from Google AdSense. Another website of mine is whereaverse.com. It's a biblically inspired online t-shirt shop. Now I don't have advertising on that site. I make money every time a shirt is sold. I don't make 
or print or ship the shirts. Cafe Press does. They do all the work. I cash the commission checks. I get bulk or wholesale orders once in a while, but mainly the Wear-A-Verse site caters to a retail market. Now, it doesn't really matter what you choose to blog about or what you decide to sell online as long as there's either interest or a market for it. In plain English, if no one's interested in what you have to say or what you're selling, then you're not going to make any money, period. On the flip side, if there is a huge audience for your topic or a large market for your product or service, then you need to find a niche, a specific market or a select group of people to go after. Let me give you an example. I own several photography websites offering my services as a photographer. One of them, and by far the most popular, is ChristianPhotographer.com. Now, there is much competition among photographers. To maximize success, I chose a Christian niche. I registered a domain name and have received a steady flow of photography work since. My clients, of course, are people of faith. I do 10 to 15 weddings a year, about that many corporate commissions, and of course, I sell thousands of stock photos online. Now, if you're watching the screen, you can see for yourself I get a lot of visitors to my blog. With some coaching, you can too. I invite you to call on me for help with your blog or website by visiting www.cybergenica.com now and taking the next step in capitalizing on traffic from the internet. In the great gospel of Jesus Christ, the prophet Isaiah in chapter 6 verse 8 said, And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. God bless you and those around you. Until next time, au revoir.